Bob and Leontine Price sang together very often. In fact, Bob performed with her at, at her debut in San Francisco, in Aida, and at her triumphant debut at the Met in Il Trovatore in 1959. They also did a recording of Carmen in Vienna under the baton of Herbert von Karien. Please help me welcome the great American diva Leontine Price. Good afternoon. I cannot tell you what a singular joy it is for me to be here today to salute a truly great singer, great human being, wonderful colleague, and wonderful friend. With a voice so sumptuous, virile, easily delivered, and sensual, all in the same person's throat. <laughs> all of us here today really, really, with his legacy, will always know what great singing is. Earlier on, when I was in San Francisco with the great Robert Merrill, we were doing what we affectionately call the Ethiopian bit, Aida. <laughs> it was a matinee, and in San Francisco, the supers, or uh, the extras, had to be, uh, shall we say, employed almost immediately because they had other jobs. On that particular matinee, there was a handful of people who were extras for Bob's army, who looked as if they had been thrown, dropped by and taken off the street. They did not have enough time to do a good job on their makeup. So they really looked horrible. When, <laughs> when the time came for King Amanazro, Aida's papa, to come in, non me tradir, Bob grabbed me by the arm and said, Price, this is our truly motley crew. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder I lost the wall. This is <laughs> this is an army. It took every bit of professionalism I ever had to keep from screaming with laughter before our next, shall we say, phrases. He was so funny, and in rehearsals as well, but always directly on, on target with everything. You see, in those days way back when, which is not too way back when, is that, that just singing was just the greatest joy of your life. It wasn't a job, it wasn't work. Uh, one thing when you had a voice like that in your throat that Bob has, it was just falling off a log. Now, I would like to say to you personally, Bob, because I am thrilled to say we all know you will never be gone. Up there where you are now, please wait when the heavenly opera comes on and you are about to sing your aria, be kind to the angels. <laughs> They've never heard anything that beautiful before, so give them a break. I will never, ever be able to explain what a joy it was not just to know you, but to hear you to love you, and to be inspired by you for so many wonderful early years in my career, operatic career. 
Christ wants to send you a million kisses again today with a heart full of love and respect that is indescribable. Love, love, and then some. Thank you for being, Bob.